Today we'll be looking at the final principle of animation appeal, so stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel, the channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation and is just starting out. And if that is you, well, welcome to my channel, you are at the right place, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a new video. And again, if you are new to animation or you are just starting out and you have no idea where to begin and you feel this is a daunting task, uh, you want to animate but you don't know where to begin well I've got some great news for you I've got a free video training it is absolutely free just click on the link in the description box below and uh, in this video training you will work alongside with me and by the end of that video you would have created your very own animation and that for me is so important because in order to improve and get better as an animator you need to start you need to start somewhere and this video is a perfect opportunity for you and you will learn the basics of animation like keyframe animation how it works timing etc and um, by the end of the video you will have enough knowledge to go and start creating your very own animations and build from there so it is a great great starting platform for anyone who wants to start animating so feel free to click on that uh, link in the description box below and uh, go start animating now today we are ending off this series of the 12 principles of animation and we will look at appeal now like i've mentioned in my previous video the final two um, principles of animation has more to do with character and scene and prop designing. Um, and the same for today. It will be uh, more about your character design so that your animation looks more appealing. So it has nothing to do with animation, but it is one of the principles to make your animations just pop and look um, great and professional and it looks appealing and that is what the final uh, principle is appeal you want your animations to look appealing now I'm, I'm going to show you what I mean when it comes to uh, make your animations look more appealing more interesting um, so in front of me here I've got a character now I'm going to use Aladdin from Disney as an example okay so imagine this character here is Aladdin so <laughs> I just do a basic figure but I want to use figures and shapes um, as the example otherwise you might not grasp it so um, this will be the best way for me to illustrate uh, what I want to teach you in this video when it comes to making your um, animations look more appealing so imagine this is Aladdin okay so if we want to um, create genie we want to add another character okay so let's click there now we've got another character and this is genie well just by looking at this it doesn't look appealing it's just another character it doesn't add to my animation but what we can do and that is what I'm going to show you now we can make as you can remember from Aladdin genie is a lot bigger okay so let's make them bigger now all of a sudden just by looking this with the sizes the size difference between the two you can really see okay but there's something interesting going on here everything is not just copy and paste everything is not just duplicated or the same there's a variety something looks appealing to this image okay but like I've mentioned before uh, one way that you can really add appeal to your animations is by using shapes um, different shapes okay so now if you remember with genie um, he doesn't have legs so he has that um, shape to it okay so let's do that okay so I've pre-drawn this so now we've added a triangle okay so now genie looks completely different than Aladdin because his body is completely different you can see there is a triangle shape to this animation and immediately now you can see it's not just your sizes that you've changed to make it look different and more appealing now you are using shapes 
Now let's add another shape. Remember another character from the movie Aladdin is the carpet. Now instead of having, uh, as you can see we've got some circles, we've got a triangle, especially with the heads are the circles, the hips, we've got a triangle, but now if we add the carpet, okay now things are starting to look interesting. Uh, we've got like a um, you know, we've got a square shape now as well. So as you can see, by using shapes, um, different, um, yeah, yeah, with we use different objects or shapes uh, to make things look a lot more interesting. Uh, we can play with the size, the different sizes, so that all your characters aren't the same size. They are different sizes. Because imagine if we look at Disney's. Um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, okay? Yes, all the dwarfs are the same size, but imagine they were the same size as um, as Snow White. Then you can't actually say Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs because now it actually will be Snow White and the Seven Men because they're the same size as her. Um, so you can really play with size as well to make it interesting and to help tell your story so much better. Now another thing you can do and that you can, should always remember when you want to cr um, create interest in your drawings, especially when it comes to character design, is to avoid certain things. So let's say I want to draw a forearm, okay, so we can have like that, that looks like Pinocchio's forearm, but it looks boring, okay, so what we can do is let's move this bit to the side. So, how can we add some more interest to it? Okay, what we can do is we can make the bottom line a bit skew and the top skew. So they are not the same, they're not parallel. They add interest. Um, so, by just making two straight lines, two parallel lines for a forearm, well, that kind of looks, it looks boring. There's nothing appealing to that. But if you add some different shapes, especially if you add opposites to your um, to your lines, um, it really adds some interest. Um, it really looks interesting and appealing to your character, to your drawings. So, guys, this is just a quick summary of appeal: how to add appeal to your animations, to your character design, your um, your scenes and props, you can incorporate this in basically all of your designs, your characters, your props, your backgrounds, everything. Uh, so remember to try and make everything look appealing by using your different shapes like circles, triangles, um, squares, all of that. Use your um, different sizes. Make one character small and another character much bigger. If I can go back to the Aladdin image. Now we've got a character here, but now you've got, um, you know, you've you've got three characters here. One is medium sized, the one is big. You've got the carpet that is completely different. But if you remember, another character is Abu, the monkey, and he's got a completely different shape to him as well. Um, so instead of him being just a normal character, there's a lot of difference, and he's got the long tail. So you've got a lot of interest when it comes to your animation. It looks interesting. It looks appealing. If everything was just the same, like all your characters looked the same, um, they were the same size, the same shapes, your animation will really start to look boring. Um, a great, great example um, of this is, for instance, The Simpsons. Now, The Simpsons have a overall look to them, but each character looks different. Like, for instance, Homer and um, Barney, the guy from um, from the pub that's always drunk. They've got the same body. They both are a little bit overweight. But Barney is a lot bigger. He looks more. F he's more. Um, he's a lot more fatter than Homer. Um, so they've used different shapes. Homer's face is a little bit longer, where Barney is a little bit more flatter. So they've used the same design, but they've changed the shapes and the, um, yeah, they've changed it a little bit so that each character looks um, 
like they belong in the animation series, but they look different. The shapes are different. The sizes are different. Um, so that is very important to keep in mind so that your animation also looks a lot more appealing to the audience. So guys, that is it for this video. And it's also that wraps up my 12 principles of animation series. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you've enjoyed this and if you would like me to create more series like this regarding animation and remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when i upload a new video so guys that is it for me till next time god bless and goodbye